My name is Kristen Pope, and I feel so honored to share my spiritual journey with all of you here at the Center of Unity. But first, we have to rewind about 30 years. I remember as a young girl having a deep curiosity about the world. I wanted to know how everything was connected, always truly seeking a deeper truth. You can only imagine my poor parents always answering the but why. I'm sure some of you can relate. Eventually, my parents enrolled me in the neighborhood vacation Bible school to help fulfill that ongoing curiosity. I remember always enjoying VBS, the crafts, songs, reciting Bible verses. It was a fun way to learn about God and meet the neighborhood kids that I played with. But that all changed one summer when I was invited by a neighborhood friend to attend a magic show at that church, which in turn was not a magic show at all. I remember being so excited about this magic show, picking out the perfect outfit, talking about it all week to all my friends and my parents, and I just couldn't, I was going on and on about it. Um, this show was a way to gather the local community into the church walls. I attended with my friend and her parents, and I vividly remember just sitting there, um, watching this gentleman take out a big whiteboard, and, or he took out a pair of car keys, I, I'm sorry, to demonstrate the magic show for the adults. That was the show, it was just one show one trick, and I had no idea what the trick even was. I was just kind of sitting there like, when's it gonna start? Um, but the show actually was started when the minister pulled out this easel and started demonstrating a drawing. And he was, I guess he was drawing a mountain and just to replicate what was your journey through life and how you got to heaven. And he went on to say, if you're not saved, you will fall into the depths of hell. For the first time, I had truly experienced the fear of God. Um, I had never felt so alone. I remember being ushered into a room and um, into a separate room from my friend and her family and I was asked to repeat a prayer. I had to ask God into my heart for my forgiven sins and now I was a Christian. There we go. I was there. Um, but I had never felt so alone and scared in my life as a young seven-year-old girl. So I remember going home and telling my father what had happened and he was not a happy camper to say the least. Um, the following day, two representatives from that church came to my home, knocked on the door, and asked for me by name, seven. <laughs> um, but let's just say they never got to speak to me, and I never stepped foot in that church again or any church for many years after that. A few years later, um, I had the opportunity to attend the Unity of Fort Worth, where my father introduced me. And I had truly come home. I remember walking in and just feeling all the love and positivity, and there was just light everywhere. Everybody was just so welcoming. Um, I attended the Unity of Fort Worth through the Unitines and into my 20s, but then my husband and I relocated to West Texas for four years. Um, but once we moved back to the DFW area um, for his training, I um, decided to visit here at the Center of Unity because it was closer and I was also eight months pregnant at the time, so some of you might have seen me waddling in here, but then COVID happened, so there was a mini hiatus until July of 2021. Um, but I really had no idea the journey that I was about to embark on in this past year. Um, during that time when I came to visit, I was also in a 75 day challenge, which included me giving up alcohol. Um, I began finding myself again and truly revealing wounds that still needed a lot of love and attention. Um, through the past year, I have led two spirit groups. I have joined the membership team. I volunteer youth ed and have embarked on a fantastic 12-month discipleship with 11 other individuals. Um, also to know that I am worthy of love and I'm already, already greatly divine has completely transformed my relationship with my higher source. The Center of Unity has not only been a safe haven for me to heal, but it's also helped me grow in my faith. Knowing that I'm a unique expression of God and that I already have direct access to the divine through prayer and meditation has enriched my spiritual journey so much. I have learned several valuable tools that I use in my day-to-day -day life as a mother, wife, and occupational therapist, incorporating sacred service into my everyday routine. It helps me stay grounded and centered in spirit. I have truly come home. Thank you so much for your time, and I hope you find the same blessings here at the Center of Unity.